Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the best quality signal from your headset. In this case I'm using the Emotive headset and I've just thrown it on but what I need to do is adjust all the sensors to get the best signal that we can. And a tool that can help you do that is in Emotive Launcher, Emotive BCI, once you connect the headset this diagram will pop up where each of these different dots represents a different sensor on the headset. Now when they're grey that means there's no signal, red is bad signal and then what we want is dark green which is good signal. So we're just going to go ahead and adjust all the sensors, trying to remove as much hair as you can out of the way. And it's important, I'd say in this step, just take your time. If you get this set up well, then everything else will be a lot easier. And what you want to do is just make an adjustment and then wait and sit still for a second. And then kind of check how you're doing. So they're all dark green. That is awesome. Now we're going to move on to EEG quality. EG quality, again, we want to be all dark green, but if there's a little bit of flickering, that's completely normal. And again, especially with EG quality, making an adjustment and then sitting and waiting for a second. So I'm going to sit still and kind of see where the EG quality is at. So you can see it looks pretty good, except this sensor isn't doing quite as good, which is the one here. So I'm just going to kind of try to move it around and get it through the hair making the best contact I can. Sometimes I go back to contact quality, double check they're all good on that end, and then go back to EEG. So if that doesn't work, then usually I just try to actually remove and pull some of the hair out of the way, feeling where the sensor is, and then actually pulling the hair out of the way. Sometimes it can just be, especially long hair, it can just kind of get stuff in all that hair behind your ear. So once again, making an adjustment, I just check contact quality. All right, good for contact quality, back to EG quality. Alright, I would say it's pretty good. We might want to make a few more adjustments so more of them are dark green rather than light green. So just squish them around the hair. Really, I'd say this step is the main step. It'll just take a bit of time, especially again if you have longer hair, just to get everything, getting the best quality signal as you can. The better quality signal you have, the easier it'll be to do brain computer interface task and have your mental commands work. So let's try it one more time. All right, now that is looking good. You can see there's some dark green, some light green, kind of flickering between light and dark green. That is what we're looking for. And yeah, just last thing, have some patience with this step. It can take a bit of time to get it set up, but once you have it set up, you'll be good to go. And in future videos, we'll show you how to make cool brain computer interface applications with this type of headset. 